Welcome back to the workshop. In this video, we're taking a look at the Mark II knife and tool sharpener with an emphasis on tool. We're gonna sharpen everything from scissors to an ice auger. Let's jump in. First up, we're gonna sharpen some scissors. They're kind of in their own category, so we're gonna start with those, then we'll move into some of the larger tools. When sharpening scissors, you'll wanna use the fine belt. You can remove the guide because we're going to be using this guide here on the Mark II. Lay the scissors in the guide and draw across while powering the sharpener. You'll want to use three to five strokes and stop with the tip of the scissors on the belt, just like you would with a knife. Another thing to note, there's only one bevel, so you're only going to be sharpening one side of the scissors on each blade. Switch to the other side and use the same number of strokes you used on the first blade. Stepping up to something like an outdoor pruning shear, you're going to want to use some discretion. Check to see what condition they're in and then decide what abrasive to use. Usually you only need either the MicroMesh 6000 grit or the Red 220 grit. For these, I'm going to use the Red 220. When it comes to sharpening pruning shears, we only need to address one edge, this edge here with the bevel. The other side just acts as a bypass. So to do that, we'll want to remove our guide. Again, we're using the red 220 grit belt and we're going to insert the shears so that we can get to that bevel like this. When sharpening bypass shears, start at the base of the blade, power on, and then draw the shear across the abrasive, stopping with the tip of the blade in the center of the belt, just like you would with a knife. The nice thing about pruning shears is they're self honing. So once you've sharpened that one edge and you've got that burr, you can simply snip them together to remove the burr because they're self honing. The next tool we'll sharpen are these hedge trimmers. For that, we're gonna make a few modifications to the Mark II. For one, we're gonna switch to the green 80 grit belt. We're also going to up the speed to the second level, and we're gonna make an adjustment to the cassette so that we can gain access to that blade. To sharpen hedge trimmers, you'll want to open them as far as possible so you can gain access to the entire length of the blade. Place the Mark II at the base of the blade, power on, and follow the existing bevel with back and forth strokes until you've restored that edge to your liking. Then move to the other blade and repeat the same process until you're satisfied with the sharpness of your shears. Just like with the pruning shears, hedge trimmers are self honing in that you give it a few snips and it'll remove that burr. When it comes to sharpening an ax, just like everything else, bring the sharpener to the tool. You're gonna find the existing bevel, place the sharpener on the edge, power, and pull across the blade. Repeat for three or four strokes on one side, and then flip over and continue on the other side. If you want a hair shaving sharp axe, continue to progress down in your belt grits down to the 220, or if you really want to get crazy, all the way down to the 6000 for that hair shaving sharp. When it comes to sharpening a shovel, I like to use a vise because it's kind of a big clunky tool. It makes it easier to bring the sharpener to that edge. I'm going to bring the sharpener to the blade face, power on, and draw across the edge several strokes until I reach the sharpness to my light. When it comes to sharpening a lawnmower blade, a vise can be really handy to help keep everything in place. To sharpen the lawnmower blade, I'm gonna bring the sharpener to the edge, power on, and draw across, and try and follow that existing bevel to restore that edge. After you sharpen one side of the lawnmower blade, you'll want to remove it from the vise, flip it over, and repeat that process on the other side. When it comes to the ice auger, we're going to need some tools. Because these blades can't be accessed the entire length, we're going to remove them and then go ahead and restore that edge. Once we've got those blades removed, we're going to follow the existing bevel and make a few strokes back and forth to restore the edge. Once I'm satisfied with the edge, I can reassemble and I'm ready to head back to the lake. The Mark II is even great for restoring edges to things like putty knives. For this, it's gonna come down once again to access to the blade. So we don't have the guide on, 
and we've got high speed to make quick work of this putty knife. Bring the knife to the belt, power on, draw across a few times, and restore that edge to your liking. When it comes to maintenance on the Mark II, we always recommend taking a brush to it, especially after doing some heavy grinding like we've done today. It's really simple. Just get in there and get all that dust out and clean off the motor and in between just to make sure when you go to use this again, it's clean and ready to go. The belts should last a long time, but when the time comes that they do need to be replaced, you can go back to your local retailer where you bought your WorkSharp or you can go to WorkSharpTools.com. As you can see, the Mark II can sharpen a variety of tools. There's really no rules as to what you can or can't sharpen with this tool. What it comes down to is blade access and doing it safely. If you like this video, it's part of a weekly series we call The Workshop. If you've got questions or even want to come up with a comment of what crazy thing you want to see us sharpen, leave a comment down below. We love getting in there and interacting with you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.